See how Kenyans have learned who their fifth president is. Katiba ya taifa letu la Kenya puts the citizen at the center of everything we do as a nation. The citizen is the highest office in our constitution. It is the citizen that hires everybody. And it must be the citizen who decide on how we go forward. Tuna, tuna kubaliana watu wa Mombasa na tunataka tukikamilisha tunataka tukubaliane uchumi wa pwani ni barabara zipi tukizitengeneza ndio itasaidia uchumi wa pwani ni mahali gani tukiwaongezea stima na maji tunaweza kupanua uchumi wa pwani Port yenye iko hapa mungependa mawazo yenu kuhusu mambo ya port mungependa iwe namna gani ndio ifaidi watu wa Mombasa na ifaidi watu wa taifa letu la Kenya mambo ya uvuvi ama blue economy what are the suggestions that you have what are the impediments that you see what are the challenges that you go through so that when we sort out those challenges we can harness our blue economy for the growth of the economy of Mombasa the coast region and Kenya in general haya ndio mambo tumekuja hapa kuwasikiza tulianza pamoja na nyinyi pale mbele mkatuchangia mawazo tukaja tena mkutano ya pili mkachuja hiyo mawazo Leo we have come for the final validation. Kutoka hapa neza chata. Tutatengeneza mkataba kati ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza na watu wa Mombasa County. Na tuko tayari kuweka sahihi mkataba a charter between the people of Mombasa County and their government. Siasa mnajua imevamiwa na matapeli na wakora na watu wenye udanganyifu mkubwa. Mara niko na risasi moja. Mara ninaenda Kanan. Mara nitaunga huyu mkono. Lakini haya mambo yote ni uongo. Na nawauliza watu wa Mombasa. Wale wat, wali watapeli wa NASA. Wakakuja wakatapeli wa Jubilee. Saa hizi wanawatapeli wale wa kuzimia. <laughs> wewe mwananchi wewe. Kama huyu bwana anaweza kutapeli viongozi wenzake. Wewe mwananchi kweli uko na bahati? Eh? Tuambiane ukweli. Tunaelewana. And if a person is a serial is a serial conman and he has never found anybody he has never wanted to con. What chance does an ordinary citizen, innocent citizen, in the face of such vicious conmen? Wako na bahati kweli? And for a long time, the politics of our nation has been taken hostage by untruthful, deceitful, people who betray others and this election the, cit the citizens of the republic of kenya must stand up and be counted so that every leader who is elected must match what they say with what they do tumekubaliana watu wa mombasa hapo ndio maneno tunataka 
kukubaliana na nyinyi kwa sababu ninyi ndio mtaamua tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane na mukienda kuchaguana tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane wewe mtu wa Mombasa mwananchi mzalendo wa Mombasa unapokwenda kwa debe kupiga de, kupiga kura yako lazima uwe na maslahi yako umejua ukipiga hii kura yule kiongozi apate ile kiti anatafuta wewe utapata nini kama mwananchi wa hapa Mwananielewa? Mnajua hata wale wafuasi wa Yesu. Eh? Disciples wa Yesu, wale kumi na wawili. Siku moja waliketi chini na Yesu. Wakamwambia Bwana, iko katika matayo kumi na saba na ishirini na tisa. Wakamuliza Bwana sisi sisi tumeacha familia zetu sisi wengine tulikuwa wavuvi tumeacha uvuvi na tumekufuata wewe Yesu sasa kwa hii safari yako bwana ni nini sisi tutapata kwa hii safari yako tumeacha mali yetu tume... eh <laughs> eh <laughs> Sasa ikabidi Yesu awaambie jameni kweli mumeacha familia zenu mumewacha biashara zenu mumenifuata na waambia mtalipwa maradufu huku duniani na pia mtapata uzima wa milele So the good people of Mombasa politics is about interest hata pale wafuasi wa Yesu it was about interest walikuwa namuuliza tutapata nini kwa hii safari wewe tu usiende tu kwa siasa ya msururu kelele kelele tv mtialala unapiga kura alafu lazima uelewe baada ya mimi kupiga kura hii ni nini nitapata kwa hii kura yangu nimepiga mahala hapa Lazima upige kura ukiwa na maslahi yako pale ndani. Kuwe na mpango ya kwamba kijana wako atapata ajira upige kura. Kuwe na mpango ya kwamba ikiisha hiyo kura unachukua kadi ya NHIF unaenda kujilipia mambo yako ya hospitali. Kuwe na mpango pale ambayo itawezesha biashara yako inawiri. Kuwe na pesa ya mkopo itakayosaidia biashara yako iendelee mbele. Tunaelewana atuelewani hii. Tunaelewana? So this is what we want to agree on. Tunataka maswala yenu, tunataka interest zenu, tunataka maslahi yenu tuandikiane ya kwamba mkipiga kura tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane, mtatupatia nafasi ya uongozi na sisi tutawafanyia moja mbili tatu ine, tano. Na mimi nasimama hapa kuambia tutarudi tena kwa mapenzi ya Mungu inshallah hapa kila mwaka kila mwaka tutaketi chini tulivyoketi hapa ili tukubaliane yale tulikubaliana mambo ya ajira ya watoto wetu imefika wapi Mambo ya poti yetu imefika wapi? Mambo ya Dongo Kundu Special Economic Zone imefika wapi? Barabara zetu zimefika wapi? That is how we must hold all leaders accountable. <laughs> Tunaelewana wangwana wa Mombasa. That is the reason why we are here. So, kila mtu a relax, tuache makelele tunataka kujisikiza kuwasikiza kwa makini. Mtuambie hapa tunangependa hivi. Hapa maoni yetu ni hivi. Hapa maoni yetu ni hivi. Tuko na enough people to record. We will reduce it into a document 
and we will sign it as a charter so that we can have a, a plan that has been enriched by the ideas and suggestions of the people of the great country. Iwapo unapenda habari ninazokuletea, basi subscribe kwenye channel hii ili uwe unapata uhondo kila wakati. Shukran.